hanging out across from the doggy park at the RTR. No, I don't have a dog. I'm meeting Melissa, the girl that came over to me at the rest area, first time ever to know my neighbor at a rest area, and going to um, interview her a little bit more and show you her beautiful build out done by her 80 something year old parents. So it's gonna be exciting. Hope you'll join us. Hey, Melissa. Well, aren't you living the serene and simple life? Hello, Linda, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Doing great. This is my rest area friend, for those of you who don't know Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, we, yep, we met over a week now. Yeah, it's been a long time now. <laughs> it's Absolutely. Been, yes, and so you are full-time on the road from Texas. Yes. So we're two Texas girls here, and you are um, enjoying the RTR and um, just giving them a little background from before. And in April, maybe you'll be taken back off to Texas, and then you're going to travel the country. Is that right? Absolutely. Can't the, wait. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So you have got, I think, one of the most beautiful interior builds that I've ever seen. It's so clean, neat, everything in place, and I can't wait to show everybody, but I'd like you to give us a little backdrop about your vehicle, you know, and, and what you've been doing, and, and who has, who's helped you with this build? This is exciting. Thank you, Linda. My parents, they have been so gracious to help me out. When they found out that I wanted to get on the road and to travel, and I've been traveling so much, Three to four years part time. My dad said, "Let's build it out for you." So, this oh my is gosh, what they helped me do. <laughs> and has he been a yeah? Has he been a carpenter all his life? Or? Uh, he was a carpenter a little bit, and then he did it full time, and then he retired. And in his 80s, he said, "We're going to start building again." Oh my gosh, <laughs> how fantastic! So you're um, don't want to put words in your mouth, but having the time of your life. I am. It is nice being on the road. First time ever here in Quartzsite. All right, all right. So yes, yeah, so and then and mom has helped out too. Absolutely, Dad. I did the drawing. Dad redrew correctly. He made the bed. He made everything in here. He leveled it for me. Mom came in at 81 and said. We're gonna decorate it up. She helped me make curtains, bedspreads, cushions, everything in here. So, All right, yeah, I like to blessed. give them a, a little before we go in and peek yeah. at, at everything that's going on. So you've been enjoying yourself here at the RTR and, yes. and everything, and I've so enjoyed meeting you. So this is fun. very exciting. So if you don't mind uh, us you know, sharing your home with us, we really appreciate it. Okay. And do you want to start with the front seat and we'll save more sure. of the more of the best for last too. Right. Yeah. All right. This is where I store my coat. You never know the weather. Mm -hmm. This is where I store my food. So I have my food, food, my tray table. Oh from yeah. Linda. Yeah That's you can where I got yes. that from. <laughs> and you've got some of your office some here. Of my office supplies. And then a little cooler. I don't really use it as a cooler. I put all my drinks and things in there. So okay. I have that. So you're, and when you don't use it as a cooler, meaning you don't really use ice. Right. I'm not using ice. You can plug it in. It's a 12 volt. Oh. I do sometimes, but right now it's just water and juice because I want to stay hydrated on the road. All right. Fantastic. So, and then a little neck rest. Is that for nighttime? or? Yes absolutely or sometimes when you're driving you get a little tired uh -huh. and I cover it up just because when you go and stop places it's good just not people not to be able to see what you have very good seat. tip because you don't think of that and I also think of that is you're not seeing all the busy then right it's right it, it, yeah, it's, it looks it, a little bit better now. Yeah, I yes. I use my coat, make it black. You can't see it from the outside. Yes, and I can't help but zero in on the best thing about oh, yeah. the future is it comes one day at a time. Yeah, and a self plug. That's say it, display it, right? Yes, <laughs> and that's my favorite one of them. So that's okay, why I put it up to remind me. The every thing is, day. the best thing about the future is it comes one day at a time. We go too fast. We need to take it one day at a time. Oh, that's fantastic. That's my theme now. <laughs> okay, I like where you put it. So that's that's very yes, cool. It's a good reminder. And then you've got some just some incidentals here on the. Yes, I like to keep you know hand wipes just in case you know this is something new for me but alcohol wipes trash bags and just in case need something here I can wash my hands off super neat yeah, super so neat 
All right, so, and then we'll do the back here and then we'll go actually into this beautiful build. Okay, this is my like, bug out bag. A bug out bag? Yes, okay. bug out bag. If I go in anywhere, I put everything in it. Like I, what? what's in your bug out bag? Well, basically like Kleenex. You never know what you're gonna need. Um, I put a flashlight in there, a personal device just mm -hmm. in case. Mm -hmm. um, I have a compass. Um, there's quite a few things in here, chapstick, and there's flashlight. Yeah, and there's videos on bug out yes, bags too. Absolutely. And you know what to put in them. So Fantastic. The and then on your um, and then this here, is a nice hanger. Yes, I, this is good too to have. It's a noise maker just in case someone's coming around. And then I like to keep sunscreen. Speaking of noise. <laughs> the airplane. The airplane. Just things that just in case you need it, you know, another flashlight, bug spray and sunscreen. Yeah, and easy access. Absolutely, I can get to it and go. And I love where you put your shoes here, just out of sight, out of mind. Right, those are to get out quickly in the morning if you need to, and then I put my tennis shoes down here. Okay, and, and uh, I really am, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, you're good. And I am really saving the best for last, but this isn't <laughs> gonna be quite last, but I'm gonna give you all a little go round here, and then, Melissa, you can talk about some of these things. Look how clever. Gosh, beautiful, 82 years old building this out, right? That's correct. Okay, so Melissa, if you want to tell us a little bit of well, you know, what's going on okay. in the corner and anything that dad did and mom did, okay. whatever you like. Well, first, my box is six foot and my dad six built foot it bed. six foot long. <gasps> so I have all my clothes in here, all my maps. You want to carry maps with you wherever you go in case you lose GPS service. Mm -hmm. Another, this is three foot, this is three foot. Okay, back we'll go around the back in a yeah, minute. That'll be tools and all. So okay, all look at this quilt. I hand did this, mom put it all together for me and made it more beautiful. So, whoa, whoa, know. and then and then your flowers in the back. Yes, and then I have here my blue bonnets, Texas blue bonnets. Since and I'm then a Texas girl. you had told me earlier that you changed the flowers out, that that was your mom's idea? Yes, I had put these and changed it to this, and mom said, no, you gotta bring Texas with you. Blue bonnets, okay. And then blue with bonnets. the seasons, do you change the flowers no, too? No, I haven't because this Okay, is that so must bright. have been someone else, uh huh? Yeah, it just, this brightens it up. All right. right. Since it's so dark in here. Okay, and, and go ahead. This is a cabinet. I just put things up here I might need. You never know, gloves and all that. I love it. I love this little uh, behind, underneath here. Yes. That's so cute. That way Just I miscellaneous? Have things, miscellaneous things you might need. That's clips. like the junk drawer. Absolutely. You brought your, you <laughs> brought, you brought your junk drawer with you. Absolutely. But it's not. Okay. No, and here, this is my coffee station. What I like to do is, be yes. able, if it's bad outside, okay. here's what I like to do. All Open right. this up, put this down, put this down here. I can put my coffee over here. I can put this up. This is a gift from my son and his wife. My dad made it into an area to put my stove, which I love. Because sometimes the weather's bad and you just can't mm -hmm. get outside. Mm -hmm. So the good thing is you can sit here, fix your coffee in the mornings, fix your breakfast in the mornings right here everything's at hand which is what i love take your coffee thing here just do a pot i love one pot meals and i like using one pot for everything put this here and i have right here which you all need butane put my butane container in here and i can fix everything i need coffee sugar spoon and then even these this this and make my coffee in the morning well wow, so this is a pour over it's a pour over mm -hmm. right so all i do is heat it up put one of these in here put my coffee what kind of pan over. is this is that aluminum or and a, a stainless steel okay all right <laughs> plug for emmerware it's real heavy duty nice and when i finish with that i can make my oatmeal i can make grits i'm from texas we love our grits <laughs> yeah that's awesome wow and so easy. and this fits like perfect yeah. Yes, my father put this on, so if I ever hit it, I won't knock it over. Wow. So it wow. Like wow. Coffee. But everything's Definitely easy. in the details. And I love the <laughs> way this is your little... Oh, that's fantastic. I love this. I absolutely love this. But I can put it all together very easily and go out. Forks, spoons, knives. Put everything back in there. And you've got your everything utensils down there. Right. And, and a couple more pans utensils. there, right? Right. That's for making... Um, 
pancakes in the morning. All right. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. I love this setup. I'm going to, and all then on the bottom here, I'm, I'm sorry. All of five minutes and I'm done with my coffee. I need my Beautiful. coffee. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. We all need our coffee or my most of us. In it. Okay. That's my Jackery. Is that a 500,000 500 watt uh -huh. and behind here and behind here is extra of everything I need if I need to wash up in the morning I have a pan here extra butane um, you never know what you need and then all the little cords to go with my Jackery I okay can plug in while I drive mm -hmm. or I have a solar panel out here all right I what kind of 100 watt or it's a hundred watt it's a Jackery too yes solar panel. yep pop it out plug it in and get all the power I need Fantastic. And it's very easy to put up. So wow. And I do carry an electric if I am plugged in somewhere. Mm -hmm. I have an electric I can plug in very easily. Beautiful. And you said mom did the quilt and the pillows and the curtains. The covers the for cover. everything. She wow. That nice. And then oh my gosh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me right over there. That's beautiful. Melissa, tell me a little bit about the curtains here. I know we were talking about the things now that mom's done. And yes. Well, I made some curtains. These are Walmart curtains. Mom came back in, cut them down, cut them up here, and made it where everything fit just perfect. Made a little cover up here so that way at night no one can see in. Wow, that's so nice. And you've got your lights up here for ambiance. Where do you turn those on Love over my in the fairy lights right here? So at night, it's very easy just to pop them on when I want to put them on. You turn the jackery on right here. And I can turn my fairy lights on. Oh, giving us some ambiance here, girl. Beautiful yeah. at night. Beautiful That's so night. fun, huh? It is. When I you're sitting it. in bed and you can do that. Good way to read and have some ambiance. You've got your little time. reading light here, too. Is that a USB? Yes, or? It's, I love everything USB, no batteries. It's plugged in right here also. The Jackery's been wonderful. I love any power unit. They work great. Okay. But I can sit in bed at night. Just sit back here. Oh, <laughs> very cool. Very cool. I love that the way you, you know, visual, you know, being a visual. And then how about your window coverings? Tell us about okay. those. I leave this one here all the time. It's good. for You leave it here all the that. time. This one I do. I leave it here all the time. I use the little clips. So that way when I go anywhere at night, I can just clip it up on each end. Oh, look at that. And it they, goes they right up, up into the, and it goes right into the window and it's prettier for ambience. Oh, it sure too. is. This is a front window cover I made. I right. couldn't find one, so I made one myself. Yes, and then mom helped you redo these? Yes, she did. After I made them and all, I changed patterns, and so mother redid all of these and hand she hand stitched all of them. Oh, she hand stitched, she hand -stitched Look at them. that. Wow. And you've got the felt on one side and the reflectix in the center. Is that correct? It's felt on this side, reflectix in the middle, and material on the outside, just for the pretty inside. Yes, it's fantastic. Love it. And then what's behind you here? Okay, this is something else she put together for me here. It's a little cover. I can roll it up. This is the station where I can do about everything in the <gasps> Look morning. Look at those clips, how neatly you did that. <laughs> it goes together so easily. I love the way you have everything that's busy covered. I built this, my do dad came back in and he built this top part for me because I need to be able to access everything. A weather radio, um, spotlights for at night, you never know, hand warmers. I have a little bitty heater, works perfect, a little mini heater. This is my, what I call first aid, first aid kit. Like your medicine cabinet. Medicine cabinet at home has a little bit of everything. I, I love need. these little crates that you have, so, how organized those are. Mother had these along with the crate over here that someone had just given her with fruit in it. And she said, here, she painted them for me. What crate? There's a crate right here. Oh yeah, yeah, the crate there, yeah, of course. Together, and she painted them? And she painted them. Oh and my gosh. She put this together. Talk about she, support. I have wonderful parents. I have been blessed. Wow, blessed. wow, wow, wow. Instead of like, what are you doing? And yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they got in on it. Oh, they did. I, at first they were a little nervous, but they knew I was on the road a lot and I travel a lot. And they're yes. Very supportive now. That's so, so fantastic. Yeah. So let's go around the back so okay. that we can see this part okay. and how you look at you just rolling that down. Love it. So easy, clean, neat. Oh, absolutely. And matching. Love what it. What's going on here, Melissa? Well, I had leftover space after my dad leveled my floor. So I asked him, could he make a box for me for when I plug in? So he made me a box. Oh. It has all my cords and plugs. I only use these when I plug in somewhere. Look how cute, and it matches your daisies. Yes, absolutely. The daisy theme. So it just slides right Slides right, right under there. And then this? This is a yoga mat I had left over. 
we were looking for something to put on the floor that was soft. Just cut my yoga mat, put it in. That way I can easily get in, don't hurt my knees, get in and get out. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Don't hurt your knees. So you're talking 20 years from now, you've got it covered. <laughs> Absolutely. I wanted to be able to get in and get out and not not scratch myself. Exactly. And feeling, yeah, yeah. Melissa, well, so before we go around the back, what's in your toolie? Because I know people are going to be like, oh, she doesn't have everything in her, in her helm. She has to, she has a toolie. Well, actually, there's not a whole lot in there. I have two tents, a little small pop-up tent and a changing tent. So if you stay at Corps of Engineer Parks and some of them, they require a tent. If you live in your vehicle, you must have a tent. Okay. So, so that's not, that's definitely not a necessity no, to have that. No, you do not need that. And in fact, some people put a solar panel up there. It's just, I already had bought it, put it up, yeah. two tents. That's all I have. Okay. And so, yeah, tents is just uh, very rare. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Well, Thanks. So you've got some cool stuff going on here. This is beautiful from the back. What, what all is here? Well, this is the back of the box. For us to see it. Okay. This is the back of the box here. Oh, yes. And this is where all my tools sit, extra blankets, things that I might need on the road, extra diaper wipes we all use, mm -hmm. bungee cords. So it's kind of a miscellaneous garage for me. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, two of those. And then your bed is made from? This is a foam from Home Depot. And mother said, let's put a good cover, waterproof cover on it. So I bought some material and she sewed it together for Beautiful. me. Beautiful. And look at the color. And then this, this one too. We went the outdoors. <laughs> we got material and she covered that. So you sewing. shop together for material. We do. We wow. do. She loves to sew. So. And here's your nice and neat here. They're not flopping around your covers. Right. These go in the front two windows, the very front. Uh -huh. Those go in there. This is my back window. It's a great big one I had to make. The mother recovered it. Uh -huh. It goes here at night. Beautiful. And then. And what do we have here? All right. This here is a suitcase when I visit family. Pull out clothes I need. Put them in here. And just and you're you're family. you're rolling on wheels, and then you're rolling on wheels into their house. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Yes. This right here is my fitness bag when I go Planet Fitness, Anytime Fitness, wherever I like to go. Yep. This is my dirty clothes bag. All right. I can just grab it, grab my dirt laundry, and go. Well, that's the laundry. cutest dirty clothes bag <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. It's a picnic basket. <laughs> girl, girl. People use pillowcases. They use Walmart bags. They use whatever they can find. And Melissa, <laughs> Melissa uses a picnic basket and you can go in the laundromat with your picnic basket. I'm telling you, I absolutely love it because it makes you feel good. Yes, it does. It Instead just, of this big old bag rolled up. I don't want to look like Santa Claus walking in. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just love it. And then you were saying over yes, here. carbon monoxide detector and smoke detector. Very, very important, especially if you cook in your vehicle and you do want to put a crack in your window. Mm -hmm. So if you cook in here on a bad day, crack in window and those really help. Oh, that's fantastic. And I see you have a couple fans here and you're a USB fan girl. Are these? I am. Both are USB. Uh huh. Small. They last about four days for me, so I absolutely wow. love it. Wow. Wow. What's the brand on those? These are, These are Opolars. Opolars. Yeah, Opolars. I've heard. Yes. Very good. Yes. I've had them three years. Never had an issue. All right, them. and then we can see a little bit better. I know you're out here now. If you want to go in, or just tell me right here what what things are. Right, so we all have to be nosy, especially <laughs> me, and know what's in your drawers. Bungee cord. Nothing goes anywhere. Mm hmm. This is a coffee station here. Yep. Bathroom station here. Stations love I, it. I have a porta potty I can put out. So I have bathroom here. This here is all my paper plates, uh, regular plates, things like that. Oh to my gosh, Melissa. Pot holders. Mm -hmm. Then this one here is all the trash bags and things I need to throw trash away. Yes. This one here is just a little bit more cooking utensils and then a hot plate. If I camp somewhere and they have electricity, I use the hot plate. Nice. Last one is miscellaneous. I actually have Linda's book I absolutely love. Just Aww. finished it. Oh, thank you. I didn't I, I love that it. I didn't pay her to say that. No, she didn't and I love the book. <laughs> and this is all my cords for everything. Cords for the fans and all that. So it all fits perfect. And I love this countertop and then above you had told us earlier this is your uh, what station is this? This is for coffee, tea, 
hand sanitizer, things like that. This is just from Target or Walmart. I ordered these and my dad said, let's make an actual kitchen. So he put me a countertop. <gasps> a countertop! And he put me a backsplash. And a backsplash! And then he said, look, you have room. So I have water. I have two gallons of water back there. Two gallons, uh -huh. Two gallons, paper plates, napkins. I have uh, my bathroom here, clean it. That's a collapsible potty? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yep. So when you open it, just put it in the way and yes. then put it up. Yes. But it made for extra space. Wow. I just absolutely love everything. I think we've just about covered. <laughs> Melissa, anything else that you think of? All right. Underneath here, my dad put in two by fours. It leveled my bed up for me. So I have four two by fours going this way, two going this way, and then a four by eight sheet of plywood fit perfectly on top. Wow. Okay. That was, that's, that's awesome to know about your bed. And then oh, look how cute up there. The lights, I have several lights. This one is so when I walk in, I'm not walking in in the dark at night. This one up here is nice to have if you just need some light, if you need to do something up here. And then I have this for when I get up during the night, so that way it's not dark. In my hallway, I oh. call this my hallway. <laughs> Melissa, you have thought it through. And then I know you said you have something on the other side. Let's go check it Melissa, out. Melissa, you were just telling me something that's hilarious. Well, when I got in the car and I sat down on my bed, my dad said, measure your foot. So that way, when you get in, I have a hallway that I can sit up in and my foot can stand straight. I don't have to go like this. So. Wow. A man <laughs> in the details. A man after my own heart. Absolutely. All right. And what do we got over on this side? Okay. On this side, mother mm -hmm. made another cover for me. This is just for privacy so people can't see in. But this is where I store my table so I can cook outside. This is a Jackery panel, 100 watt, that goes with it, portable, you put it outside. I do, for safety reasons and security, I do put a lock on this and my Jackery so no one can steal it. Wow, I've never seen that before. That's really awesome. And then my water's back here. Okay, so we can see good here. I have yep. four gallons of water back there. Oh, so you have a total of six all together? Six gallons of water. All right. I make sure just in the safe side. Yes, and then I see another box. This is a front window cover that goes in the front. Beautiful, the way right you made. here, mm -hmm. you got to have fun when you're camping. Yes. So this is my fun. I have frisbees. You meet people everywhere. It's really nice. We can color my Bible word hunt. That's a big thing for me to be able to do that. Wow. And lots of puzzles. And I even bring a little white thing to put the puzzles on and we can work on them on a table. A white thing? A little white piece of board. Dollar Tree. Oh, no. I'm Because you need you. to be able to, we can have several people make puzzles. So know. that's why I, I have a little puzzle. I, I, I think you're just one of the <laughs> super duper winners of bringing a, a hallway, a hallway <laughs> into your home and a light when you get home and a light to turn on in the middle of the night. Absolutely. And it's all in place. And it's in very small space, but it's all I need. Melissa, thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been just an, a beautiful time. You are a gift from God. Well, thank, thank you, you for Linda. not being shy and coming over and introducing yourself at the rest area because without that this wouldn't have happened i have a new beautiful friend and i am i am so grateful i know you have a grateful sign back over here <laughs> yes uh yeah that we can see right from there grateful and that i am and for you today and thank you linda especially at the rest stop <laughs> For no. talking to me, meeting with me. Oh, please, no. But I, you're you're welcome. But my thanks is all yours right now. So seriously, um, I just um, wish you, um, you know, just very safe travels. And I guess together, since you've been a follower, we can wish everybody joy, joy in, in your journey. journey. Yep, and blessings in, in your, your day. in your day. And see you down the road. Yay! <laughs> See you later, Melissa. Bye, Linda. Melissa. Yes, Linda. What was that one more thing you just shared with me? This is actually my second build. My first one was a no-build build with a cot and plastic storage boxes. Whoa. So I guess we could be a takeaway is just go out with what you have.
exactly. You don't have to wait till you have a, a hallway and... Uh, no, my first year was boxes and just those cots and blankets. And still live in the dream. Absolutely. You do not need a complete build. Just bring what you have from home if you have a home base and get on the road and go. Go, see, do. My favorite saying. Okay, love you, Melissa. Love you too, Linda.